It's time. It's time. The trailer has officially dropped. The lights are very bright. The stage is set. The mood is right. It's time to light the light. It's time to meet the show. It's called Doctor Who. The show is here. The show is there. The show is almost anywhere. The trailer is set. The trailer is ready. We're going to start going through the show. Are we ready? The trailer shall begin in three, two, one, now. There is Shooty with a moustache and his 60s costumes. With Billy Gibson, pressing the TARDIS has gone. This is epic. Got all the costumes. Could Jeffrey got? I think that's how you pronounce his name. More of the Beatles. Yes. The little bomb that looks like one of those um, cleaner up it. That drag queen woman. Oh, that creepy monster. There's Mel Bush on a motorbike. Whoa. Oh, yes, bro. This is incredible. I love it. This is incredible. Whoa. Absolutely incredible. Now, what I want to discuss briefly, just, just before I get into my overall opinion of the trailer, this here, I'm going to show you, this to me looks like one of those robots you have to clean your house, you know, one of those uh, robo vacuum cleaner things. That's what that looks like to me, and it's absolutely hilarious. So it's probably an alien thing. Now, we recently had an announcement that the Beatles, each individual Beatle, was going to have their own film, their own uh, biopic. So will they thought, who will play in the Fab Four, be our biopic people? Because they look the spitting image of the young version of the Beatles. Now if we scroll through whilst I'm stood at a good angle, let's have a look at this. This shot here. I quite like this shot because it shows the intricate details of the TARDIS. Will that jukebox be more of a player into the field than you or I think? Who knows? Who actually knows that? I don't know that. So let's find out whether or not that might be a, a bigger factor into the area of uh, field than we might think. Now, as we're going closer into this trailer, which I absolutely adored, might I add, we we, we want to talk about... Uh, well, we, we there's not a lot we can talk about, but the new villains. The new villains are look incredible. Let's, let's get another angle of them. They look absolutely incredible. Do they eat people? Because um, if they do, and that's a nice thing. That reminds me of something from Alien or Predator. So we've got a connection to Hollywood uh, filmery here. Um, going through the trailer even closer, we don't see much of Mel, but we see Mel. We see Mel on the bike, the the slice of Mel here on the bike, Melody Bush. Then, if we go even closer, we see more 60th. Where Shooty meets Rose. Does that mean that Donna might have a cameo? Will David Tennant have a cameo? What I mean by that is that will David, will David Tennant be either cameoed as in Oh, it's David Tennant! Or will it be cameoed as in this one he's been up to? Like, will it be vocal cameo? Or will it be actually appearance for a few seconds? Who knows? So I know we've got a lot of units. And I, it just looks so fun. Right? I can't wait for the 11th of May for the episodes to come out, but it looks so fun. That probably sums up their experience. A load of fun. It's new costumes each episode. It doesn't have just one standard costume, which is amazing. Ruby has variation in costume as well, but it looks a lot more timepiece, time set. Um, and I quite like the whole shooter cat were clicking his fingers type thing because that might be his doctor like like the man of mystery clicking his fingers doors open doors closed doors open doors closed doors open 
Doors closed. Doors open. Doors closed. Doors open. Doors closed. It could be the next Doctor in Distress. Doors open. Doors closed by Shinta Gatwick and the gang. Um, that, to me. Now, we. he might be, and I might be wrong in saying this, so correct me if I'm wrong. He might be the first tashed, moustached Doctor that's uh, stuck with the tash the entire time. Um, I'm intrigued to know what Jinx's role in the show because I don't really know Jinx other than from the press announcement when they announced Jinx was a thing like coming out like as in like coming to Doctor Who and that they were going to play uh, an interesting villain. I like the 60s costume um, and I quite like what they've done to the TARDIS here so this shot is absolutely incredible so there you have it um, that is my re reaction, which was, oh, oh, and my um, breakdown, but it's more of a reaction. Now, let's talk about, before we end this video, so I'm going to make a slightly longer than a video we filmed this morning, was that I thought this vi this trailer is immaculate, it's incredible, and I just can't wait for more. What I mean by that is that I want more. I want more now. We have to wait a few weeks, a few months. Because it's the 11th of May, because it's currently March now, and it looks incredible. The time it airs is an issue in itself, but that's an issue that could be resolved, so that's a back burner. But thinking about the show itself, this series, Series 14, which I'm going to call it, I'm not calling it anything else, is going to be incredible. So, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Can't wait for the new series. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.